Hello and welcome to Grim Plays Discworld Part 6. Here we carry on with our hunt to find out a way to destroy the dragon. I know this very well because I actually got to save after doing our last bit doing the last video here. So I've just had to do the entire last part of the game again. Right, so let's go back to the alchemist. See what's left of his place. Oh, he's back again. Oh, there's another ladder. So. What's that noise? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That noise! What's that noise? I can't hear you. Wait a minute while I turn off the noise. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm banging brains. It's for the clickies. We need a novelty food for people to eat while watching the shows. Banged grain? Great name. Popcorn! Yes. I thought it up myself. Yeah, I can tell. Does it always make that awful noise? It's a civil disturbance, that is. Don't you need a license for doing that? Well, I asked if you needed a permit to bang grain. And they've given me one of these instead. This is a permit for soliciting street girls. <laughs> well, is that better than exploded corn kernels with butter? You don't get out much, do you? <laughs> is this a spare camera? There's no imp in it. It's broken. Look... I'm not sure the world is quite ready for all this yet. You just wait till you see what the rest of the Alchemist Guild is coming up with. Ice creams, chocolate, we've even got counterwise wine gums. You lose a filling the day before you go to the pictures. The Dentist Guild developed it with us. Oh, they're ever so pleased. You want to get your process cheaper? This stuff's too expensive. Well... I bought the grain special from the grocers. Why don't you go down the livery stable? You'd pay a third the price. Yeah, yeah that's an idea there. Now you watch the shop for a moment and, and I'll be back. Okay. That doesn't work. Looks like a little... That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hey! Here! Yeah. This camera even has a little veranda and an easel for the imp. The little blighter looks a little drunk. Hope he can still paint okay. Okay. Now. It's so difficult to find stuff on here. There's the park. Why is it so easy to... Ah, there it is. 
are so easy to lose stuff in here. Quite a trim little cart, that. Oswald's Ostlery. Whatever your ostle, we'll provide for it best. That doesn't work. Winnie, if you love dragons. Lady Rampkin's Sunnyvale Dragon Sanctuary. Lady Rankin's Dragon Sanctuary. Brimstone deliveries at the rear. Here we go. Well, I suppose when you're this rich, garden gnomes are just too passe. So I really hope she looks better in this than she does in the new uh, Discworld show. Yes. Well, it's all right if you go for that pre-patrician opulence. Are we going to get Willikins? Oh. I'm just feeding my little darlings now. Do come around the back. Tradesman's entrance. A nice blue ribbon and rosette. Okay. A nice blue ribbon and rosette. Yes, I won that at last year's Swamp Dragon Breeders Show. Poor old Reginald Lampwick Ponchinbury the Third. He just up and exploded with excitement at the time. Pity, really. Hmm. Oh, hello again. You're at the hairdressers. That's Lady Rank. I'm Lady Ramkin. Do mind the doo-doos. Eh? Well, if you don't, the doo does what it does. It does? What does it do? Well, it does the dirty. The doo-doos, I mean. It can be dodgy, ducking doo-doos. If there's any carbon on your feet, you could be history. And geography. Dragon droppings are rather unstable, even explosive. That's what the boots are for. Can't go tracking this sort of thing in the house. It eats through the rugs. And the foundations, actually. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I'll be careful. Some sort of constable, are you? Eh? Well, your hat. It's very grand. Officer's issue, I suppose. Um, no. Not exactly. I'm... I'm a wizard. Ah, sorry. I'm afraid I don't have much to do with men. Dragon fancier, are you? Um... Let's not mention dragons. I've had a bad day. Well, I'll catch you later, then. Alright, let's see if we can trick around the front.
Que bon! Yay! I got the nail. A nice big rusty nail. Another one for my coffin. Hmm. Mambo the 16th. Quite a chubby little chap, aren't you? Nigel Hawthorne Rampshire the 8th. Randolph Bloomington Horrogate the 11th. Oops! Make that the 10th. Oh. Tecumseh Farrogut the 9th. Good grief, it's sizzling! That doesn't work. Okay. Let's go. Where's the luggage? Ah, there it is. The old magic markings on the extremely long snake trick. The old magic markings on the magically stiff and extremely long snake trick. Hmm. <laughs> it's even got a knob on the end. Hey! The wizard staff has a knob on the end. One of Nanny Og's old songs. Dining room. Now this could be a handy extension handle. Oh, hey! Now I can catch those really dangerous butterflies. <laughs> Okay. Let's go for a little walk. Alright, come on. No other way out. I promise I won't double click again. Alright. This time I think I need to go to the dark woods. Not the woods, but the dark woods. Uh there. Despite the fact that Nanny Ogs be looking at the raptors. Although interesting thing, Nanny York is in this game. Granny Weatherwax is the witch in the second game. Hmm. Good grief! Where is all this wall coming from?
Oh, the sheep does like that. Let's take a picture. What? You poser. Okay, so let's go back inside. Hmm, what do we have here? Nanny Ogg's patent lie remover. Removes unsightly untruths, leaving behind just the odd white lie. Nanny Ogg's inheritance accelerator. Why wait for the rest of their life? That doesn't work. Watch out, dearie! Eek! Ah, about your patented lie remover potion. It's my special truth potion. Aha! Uh -huh. Um, could I borrow some? I'll only let you have some in return for a kiss. And this time, I'll be keeping my eyes open, so I will. Oh. No. Okay. I know what to do here. Yeah, easy there, in twins. My, my. Ah, about the truth potion? Here, take it. Ooh, my, my. Oh, that's Nanny York satisfied. <laughs> Perhaps it's time I sang about my favourite things. Now don't tell me, it's purple and has 100 eyes. Am I close? <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Whew. Well, at least it's nice and warm and soft out here. How do I get out of this... place? No, no, forget that last statement. How do I get to stay here? Cheating. Uh, what? That's cheating. You can't do that. Put that rotten thing away. It's not cheating. It's just enriching the storyline. Yes, it's in the rules. It isn't. Yeah, I'm sure it is. You can be quiet too, Mr. Handbag Face. And if you try to swap dice on me one more time, I shall do to your black monks what the Prophet Dundas did to the tribe of the Extralites. With both thumbs. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, but what is that? What? Uh, there. The little pointy-headed thing. Uh, you've got a little piece hidden down your cleavage. Oh, goodness me. I wonder how that got there. Uh, put it, Put it back. I haven't had any fun with that one yet. Wait till it meets my monk this time. Oh, just get on with the game. Oh, um, <laughs> Looks like the gods have got it in for me. Okay, come on. They're catching all the fish that go over the edge. Polly won a cracker! 
Oh really? How about a five for Echo? I knew this game would drive me over it eventually. That doesn't work. That... This hat is certainly more impressive than mine. Hey, there's something inside. Yeah, hello. Nice day for it. Yes, um, nice day for what? For whatever you're planning to do. So. So you mean I'm destined to fail after all? You're here to collect my soul, thus ending the quest and demonstrating the futility of all human endeavour. No, I'm just having a break. Oh, sorry. I shall see you later on, but I won't tell you what's going to happen, because I don't want to spoil your day. Oh gee, thanks. Um, look, you're, you're a busy, a uh, busy, um, Anthropomorphic man. Entity. There's no need to disrupt your schedules on my account. Oh, I enjoy it. See you at the city square, then. Oops. Sorry. It slipped out. Forget I said it. Great Atui is referred to as an it as opposed to a he or a she, simply because its sex is undetermined. Yeah, we don't know. I don't lose it. There's a rabbit in that chain. That doesn't work. Guess the hat stay in there then. You come back to here. Wait a minute. Where's that whistle then? Look, it's just a little accident. Sorry. An accident? My whistle? He just sort of fell off the world. Anyway, I got your parrot back. But my whistle! My handcrafted Oblander parrot calling whistle! My mother gave that to me! It's in my pocket. Oh, how can I concentrate now that I know the last keepsake of my old dead mother has gone from the world? Right, right, I'll, I'll go fetch the whistle then, shall I? Yes, well. Oh, my Polly! My beautiful Polly and my lovely whistle! Oh, how can I repay you? Just tell me how to get a tattoo. Go to the barber shop, of course. Oh. 
Okay. Now I've got to figure out. Uh, I wonder if that girl's in the side trickerists. What? Bye bye, sweetie doll. Hey, so good to see you. You're looking swell. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now sit down and shut up. With feeling. Oh, this is terrible. Next, if I need a monkey, I'll let you know. Hello again. You're the troll, right? Flint. Hey, my name's Flint. My manager picked it for me. He thought it was more suave name for the clickies. If you want to audition these days, you got to be suave. Ah, pieces of eight, pieces of eight. Look, I am your father. It's not got any better, has it? Not really, but just think of all the savings they could make on hiring extras. What sort of role are you looking for? A hero. That's why I've grown the moustache. You have to have a black moustache if you're going to be a hero. That moustache is made out of lichen, isn't it? Well, I was in a hurry. Anyway, I don't grow beard bits very well. Okay. Let's see if they've changed rounds. That's what usually happens. Yep. Bye bye, sweetie doll. Hey, so yeah, good. Sit down, shut up. Now sit up. I'm going to be a star, you know. Sorry? I'm auditioning. It's for the star role in the new clicky Trolls Prefer Blondes. It's terribly modern. Why has your bust line gotten bigger? Silicone implants, I think they're called. Silicone? <laughs> yes. Some cone-shaped bits chipped off that insane troll beside me. I stuffed them down my front. My agent thought it would be a good idea. You're keeping abreast of the competition, so to speak. So, how did you get an audition? Just stay in line like me. It's ever so much fun. I'm terribly excited about this casting couch idea. Really? Oh, yes. What? But I love fishing. I think I need a good lie down. Oh, do you want to go on the couch as well? Uh, yep. not if I can possibly avoid it, no. Oh, so would you like my autograph? You what? Well, it's like a name on a bit of paper. My agent Otto thought it up. See? Autograph. He says it'll be worth a lot of money one day. Really? Oh, yes, especially if you use expensive paper. If you bring me something to write on, I can give one to you. That's very considerate of you. Okay. I'll give you this, you can give me one. Next! Next! Ha! Uh, come in! So, you want to play a hero, yeah? A hero? Well, this is to be a hero's role. Just say your lines and we'll see if we can't get you a screen test. Lines? All heroes well, you might be have something like a hero. as a pack is traditional. Just say whatever comes into your head. Um, hasta la vista, baby? <laughs> yeah, try this. <laughs> this just says, Arg. Hey, that's what all dragon slayers say. Really? Just before they fry to crisp. Come back when you practice. Now off you go. Okay. Well, at least now she's written something down. I'll give that to the barber and see if he likes it. I don't know if you can hear that roaring in the background, that's bloody Air Force. They like to fly directly over the house. Let's be honest, usually they wait until about 10, 11 o'clock at night. Uh, luggage!
Right. Here you are, then. The milkmaid is all set to be your next appointment. Oh, that's marvellous. I'll be seeing you. Why does it suddenly sound like bees? That's weird. So, let's see if we can get that tattoo now. You serve as the local tattoo artist, correct? Oh yes, I'm the best on the disc. All the heroes come to me. <laughs> Blindingly painful mutilations to the discerning gentry. That's me, sir. Here, take a seat and I'll do you now. Now, what style of tattoo are you interested in? And more importantly, what part of your body are we talking about here? <laughs> Those needles, they look pretty pointy. Razor sharp. It's so they can plunge efficiently beneath the flesh, you see. Mm. Oh, yes. Stabbing into the living tissue, hooking through the skin and spurting ink. Each tattoo needs that to be done thousands of times. Oh, yes. does it hurt? Oh, yes. The pain is quite intense. I've seen grown men turn into whimpering, creeping wrecks by just five minutes under my needles. Anyway, you're a pal, so I'll do one for you right now if you insist. You'll just have to bear with me. I'm too excited to work well. Me hands are shaking. Oh, I really hope I don't stab the needles in too deep and then break them off. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Look, um, I think I'll pass for now. Well, in that case, why don't you try one of those newfangled transfer thingamy tattoos? They're made from a special clutchy and squid dye that adheres to your skin for a day or so. Sounds great. Where can I get one? Try my son. He gives them away with bubblegum. Your son? Yes, the little street starfish. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, thanks for that. I'll be off now. Yes, I've met him. Go. Right. Let's go find the street star. thing is, it takes me back to the square again. Death said he's going to meet me in the square. Hello, he is. Hello, little friend. Lovely bubblegum you have there. Oh, come on, governor. What? Well, obviously you're trying to swindle me out of something. Next thing you'll be trying to trick me into performing some sort of stupid stunt as a diversion. Such as? <laughs> I suppose you were going to get me to blow an incredibly huge bubble and then run off with the goods. Never. I don't think you can blow bubbles much bigger than you have been anyway. Of course I can. Here, watch. Can I hold your bubblegum packet for you? Oh, thanks. This is empty. It comes with a transfer. You don't think I'm going to let you have my transfer? It's collectible. Well, how do you collect a transfer? I mean, you have to put it on your skin. It'll wash off. Wash, Gav? Oh, right. Sorry, I use bad language. Tell me again about the attractions of being a lovable street life stereotype. I'm class background colour, I am, sir. You're about to die. Just give me the damn transfer. <laughs> Come and get it, pencil head. That doesn't work. Well, I'm going to make him take a wash. Nice strong rubber belt, that. God, it's a... it's a... what is that thing? Well, those birds must be nappers. Okay, very nice, Mr. Dunny King. Up you go.
Okay. How do we get out of it? That way. Alright, come on then. Hey, uh, stop looking sorry for yourself, come on. Let's keep track of that. Hey, I've got a second ladder. Let's get going down in here. Come on, Edmund Twin. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Sore ass. Okay. I need this next, I think. Never touch the stuff again. Okay. Luggage. Grab it about. That's the luggage as well. Alright, let's get out of it. 
I've just got a skirt back. DUI? Donkey under influence? Well, I never. <laughs> Did you get the name of that donkey cart? And there's a moustache. Well, I've got his uh, tattoo. I've got a. Well, I've got multiple things. Let's see. Let's head to the drum. Uh, where's the drum again? Oh, yeah, there. Busy night? No, not particularly. Why? Just wondering. What is there to drink? Well, it's all a matter of suiting the clientele, friend. What do you think the sort of person who frequently frequents this bar would like to have for his drinkies? What'll it be? Hmm. Is this one of those tough, brutal bars? Yeah. Not through actual planning, mind. I mean, it just sort of develops. Then I'll have the usual. Uh, a glass of gin served at room temperature with a human air in it, please. Ah, yeah. I've just checked, and uh, we're all out of gin. Hmm. Whiskey? Um, no. Rice wine? Perno? Absinthe? Scumble? No. Old bowel bender stout? Scumble. I think it's off, sir. Jeez. Off? How can stout go off? It kills bacteria. You can clean privies with it. Well, it's more sort of uh, settled, sir. All the black colouring sort of swimming round the bottom. Same things happen to the elderberry wine. Well, I say the same thing, but it's more like lumpy. <laughs> Probably all right, though. Ah, thank you. So, what have you got that hasn't got lamps in it? Oh, tons of stuff. Incidentally, sir, I don't know if you've noticed that rather impromptu pun there. <laughs> rather good, I thought. It could have meant tons, T-U-N-S, type of barrel, or, or tons, T-O-N-S, in its colloquial usage meaning lots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very good, yeah. So, you've got lots, then? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> so, is there anything here to drink today? Well, yes, sir. It is a bar. I mean... Not much use having a bar if there's no actual beer being Can served you here. Today, we have beer actually on tap. That doesn't smell like beer. That smells like Zynemouth's Lacantar Splenetic Emollient. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's very similar to beer, sir. Similar? It's one of the most deadly prescription medicines ever devised by man. How could it possibly be similar? Well, it is a liquid, sir. Well, I'm not touching it. I'll just have a glass of water, please. What? As in water taken from the River Ank? <laughs> You're braver than I thought. Ah. Oh, I see your point. Well, give yeah. us a Zynemouth Lacantar Splenetic Emollient then, please. Let's take that. Thank you very much. Alright, oh, let's see if, uh, Cyril the, uh... Yep. up with hmm. let's see where the elderberry wine is elderberry wine best used before 3 30 p.m. oh that was easy okay I think we're gonna end it there for now Hope you've enjoyed what you've been watching and you'll join us next time for part 7. If you have enjoyed what you've been watching don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon for notifications so you can see when I put the next one up. Till next time. <laughs>